In this short video, um, I just want to give you a little bit more detail on the internal capsule. Um, because in the group work um, yesterday, a number of you were asking me for, for a little bit more on this very important white matter tract. Now, let's remind ourselves about where the internal capsule is and roughly what it does. So the internal capsule um, is a, a bi-directional pathway containing descending motor fibres, the axons of upper motor neurons, and ascending sensory fibres, these being the axons of third order sensory neurons. Um, and we can see uh, here the internal capsule basically is the condensation of the corona radiata in the cerebral hemisphere. So in the hemisphere, a whole load of axons coming from the cortex converge together, uh, or diverge, of course, if they're sensory, uh, down onto this internal capsule. Despite the name capsule, we can think of the internal capsule as a tract. Okay, so this is a white matter tract within the brain hemispheres. And in a coronal section like this one, it's easy to identify the internal capsule because we can see that it is sandwiched between the triangular lentiform nucleus and the oval thalamus medially. So the internal capsule is sandwiched between the lentiform nucleus laterally and the thalamus medially. So that's its appearance on a coronal section. However, in a transverse section, it looks slightly different. So in the transverse section here at the top left, we can see the internal capsule here has a V shape. Okay, there's a V shape to it. But once again, we can see that it's sandwiched between the triangular lentiform nucleus laterally and the thalamus medially. Okay, so it's still got the same relations in both the coronal and the transverse sections. But when you look at it in the transverse sections, you can see that it is actually got this bend to it, this V-shape. And the early anatomists, when they saw this, thought of it as looking a bit like the lower limb. So they gave the internal capsule an anterior limb, a posterior limb, and they called the bend the genu. Now, genu means knee, okay? So they called the bend the genu. And as you should recall from the lecture, we're primarily interested in the posterior limb when we're talking about the motor system because this is what contains descending motor fibres, descending upper motor neuron axons. Now, the view we've got in the, on the right-hand side is of the um, left internal capsule. So it's of this internal capsule here. Okay, so you've got to imagine that we're specifically focusing on that internal capsule in this image over here to the right. Um, and you can see it's got the anterior limb, the posterior limb, and the genu, the bend. Okay, and in the lecture we talked mostly about the posterior limb, and we said that the upper motor neurons supplying facial muscles are found at the genu. So this is the corticobulbar tract running at the genu, supplying the face. And then that we have a topographical organisation throughout the posterior limb where we go face, arms, trunk, and then lower limbs. So this pale brown area um, contains the corticospinal fibres supplying um, most of the body. This red area contains the corticobulbar fibres, otherwise known as the corticonuclear fibres, supplying the face. So this area and this area are the parts of the internal capsule in the posterior limb containing upper motor neurons. Now you'll also note that there are other regions to the internal capsule. So for example, in this pale brown colour, we have the thalamic radiations. These are parts of the internal capsule which contain ascending third order sensory fibres. Okay, so these pale brown parts of the internal capsule in both the anterior and posterior limbs contain ascending third order sensory fibres. And particularly, the, this part of the thalamic radiation in the posterior limb contains sensory fibres which form part of the somatosensory system. Okay, 
So information from the somatosensory system runs through the posterior limb of the internal capsule up to the primary sensory cortex. Also, we have an anterior thalamic radiation which contains projections going from the thalamus uh, to the frontal lobes and other parts of the brain not directly um, related to sensation. Now, finally, we have some other regions of the internal capsule which are much less important than those first two that I've mentioned, and they're shown in dark brown in this image. Okay, And these contain a whole number of different types of fiber running from the cerebral cortex downwards okay and these are so-called corticofugal fibers the word fugal means flying away moving away from so these are a whole load of fibers going from the cortex away from the brain the corticofugal fibers in dark brown and you don't need to worry about these these have a whole load of different functions um, which we're not going to be touching upon at all in the nervous system unit. So, so don't worry about the corticofugal fibres in the internal capsule. And for the most part, you can actually completely forget about the anterior limb. So I hope that brief um, treatment of the internal capsule is helpful to you. Uh, thanks.